So I brought the guys to um, to sunny Brighton oh. <laughs> for uh, the sunshine and the um, beautiful, beautiful weather. Facundo has never seen the most uh, beautiful sunshine in his life, all the way from Argentina. Patrick, always taking pictures, Patrick. I, I'm here, yes. Uh, it's just like Canada in the middle of winter. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. only less beautiful. And we also have Neil, of course, with his uh, big... Uh, Microphone. Yeah, with his big blimp. Big blimp, there we go. <laughs> Focus on it's, that. Good morning, it's, uh, it's, I don't know, something like 8.30 in the morning on uh, Thursday. I'm here in London town. I'm in Trafalgar Square right now. I think right behind me you can see the National Portrait Gallery. Um, I'm here for a street photography workshop that I'm running today. I've got an hour or so before I meet the delegates. And I'm going to, basically myself today, during my um, periods where I send the, the delegates off to do their little projects, I'm gonna use this XT100 and really try and get a feel for it. I haven't really had the time that I wanted. Uh, it has to go back to Fujifilm very soon. So by the time you see this, this camera will be in the shops. Um, and the one I'm holding right now will have gone back to Fujifilm UK. The lens I'm using is the XF 10 to 24 mil, which I only purchased yes, or bought it two days ago. It arrived yesterday. So um, I had that lens a long time ago. I had it and I actually sold it because I just wasn't using it. But now I think actually this might be the opportunity. This might be the perfect lens for uh, trying to explore this vlogging idea on the X-T100. So we'll see how we get on with that. But other than that, I also want to try and take some stills with this camera. I took it down to Brighton. Um, we had a morning in Brighton or an afternoon in Brighton with Facundo Santana, Patrick LaRock and Neil James last week or so and um, uh, the weather was poor in the morning actually, really bad, um, but then it kind of cheered up in the afternoon. So I managed to get a couple of stills and a little bit of kind of vlogging out of it, but nothing spectacular. So today hopefully is the day that I can do something a little bit more uh, interesting with it um, and you know, maybe you can come along on the journey. My, the weather here today actually is pretty grey and overcast. It's been beautiful in the UK for the last couple of days. Back in Wales it was 32 degrees yesterday. Um, here I think it's probably about 15 or 16 degrees, but hopefully, hopefully the weather forecast says it should cheer up so we can maybe do some stuff with some good light and shadows um, and all of that good stuff as we go along so the way that I typically do my street photography workshops is that I will give the delegates there'll be some one-to-one -one time and group sessions and then they all get um, a little projects to head off and the first time the first project they will get is back here actually on Trafalgar Square um, I'll give them a little theme they'll go off and shoot it and start to give them try and get get them into this idea of seeing things rather than being a, a random photographer looking for stuff and I, I you know I'm a big believer that if you if you look for things you you, you you know you have a theme you have a subject you you slow down you see more and you take less pictures but you have more keepers so um, yeah we'll be back in Chicago Square later I really want to see how this camera works out and um, so it's pretty fluid the way that I do these street photography workshops and I think Probably thereafter we'll head over to Covent Garden now and the, uh, the workshop's going well. It's beautiful, beautiful sunshine day now. Um, this, uh, you know, everywhere we look actually, it's bustling. London's such a beautiful place on a busy day like today with the weather's out. Um, Covent Garden, unfortunately parts of it, we're, we're, you know, we're, one of the things I like to do on these workshops is go to the Apple Store um, because of the columns and everything that are outside the Apple Store. And there's some really good stuff we can do with shadows and highlights, um, but unfortunately, it's being demolished, <laughs> so I don't know what they're doing there. They're building something else there. Um, so yeah, we've got we've got some great sunshine. We've got some great light. We've got some good shadows. I've set the guys off now to do some work with spot metering and trying to really get the camera to do as much work as possible. I've got them shooting in black and white, even if they are uh, shooting in RAW. I've got them with a black and white film simulation. Uh, and obviously, the purpose of that is so that you can see the light better, which works really well, I find. Um, so yeah, we're good to go. We're in Covent Garden, beautiful place. Uh, a lot of history here, of course. Uh, somewhere that I used to uh, knock around when I was working in London myself. I used to come here a lot on a Friday evening, uh, Punch and Judy pub. And actually one of the guys on the workshop today, James, he, he lives in Covent Garden. So um, I think he's the first person ever that I've met that actually lives on Covent Garden. Um, pretty good for him. So yeah, we will be moving on to more over to the West End in a moment. Um, we always get some great characters and some good stuff going on in uh, London and uh, wherever you go, wherever you, whatever happens, um, there's always some very British people, um, always very British people and it's uh, whoop, very interesting, very interesting sights always. Um, so we're going to head over to Soho now, uh, have a bite to eat I think and head over to Soho.
So uh, now we are in uh, Chinatown and the guys are off doing another exercise and this time I've got them trying to do some zone focusing with a very narrow aperture of maybe f2, f1.4, something like that and um, they're finding it quite challenging um, but it's good, you know, it's good, it's all exercise. Of course with these kind of exercises it's all about um, I'm trying to kind of, I guess, get, into the, get them into the mindset of seeing things rather than necessarily just being a technical photographer but looking for things, observing, uh, using different techniques, different focusing techniques, etc. Um, the X-T100 so far has been uh, pretty amazing, I must admit. It's a challenging camera to use for stills because uh, it doesn't have things like an AFL button on the back um, and, you know, uh, the dials are different and you have to use the touchscreen. Uh, remember what I was saying earlier about um, London and the characters that you find? Um, there's always people kicking around, there's always something going on in London. Uh, regardless where you are, you'll always see something a little bit different. <laughs> um, but it's a great place, of course, London, and uh, you know we've had a good time. The session's been good today, and uh, we are <laughs> we are heading towards the the end of the day. And uh, you know the vlogging element of this camera really, actually, it's worked out really well. Um, I think. You know, I'm currently using the 1024 again. I've sw switched between the 23mm and the 33, uh, sorry, 35mm throughout the day. Um, other people have been using different lenses and stuff. So I have definitely um, found it capable for this idea of vlogging. Um, I think probably, yeah, probably I'll end up buying it. I have to go back tomorrow. Um, and I think that if, if I can get over this ridiculous. Uh, fear of using the camera in the street, which seems to be going all right. Nobody's looking at me. I'm looking at them. Nobody's looking at me. Um, oh no, those people are looking at me. Okay.